It's fine what's going on in terms of coming together and bringing different traditions together and this idea of a new global oneness, global harmony. But to me it's very important actually to be able to say, well, but that's been there since the beginning. And we here are looking towards bringing a greater reality, a sense of oneness into these tatters of Western civilization. And to me it's very, very important to say, yeah, but that sense of oneness, not only did it happen to be there when Western civilization was born, but it was out of that sense of oneness that Western civilization was very deliberately created. So that may sound a little bit abstract, but just to give an example, um, I mean, one of the foundation stones of Western civilization, Western science, is the discipline of logic. Right? There's nothing really more, if you like, materialistic that you can get than the, the rules of logic, the hard, hard rules of logic that you know, I remember at college being forced to learn all these things they put up on a blackboard, these terrible symbols and squiggles and however you're going to do it, and it's just so counterintuitive. It's just, it's like kind of, it can be so harsh, this mental, almost this butchery of the mind. You just have to try and discipline yourself to learn the rules of logic, and that is how we try and live in so many respects, logically, not intuitively, but logically. And what we don't know is that this man, Parmenides, 2,500 years ago, living in southern Italy, he brought the laws of logic into existence. And there's no question about that. Everybody admits that he was the father of Western logic. But what they don't see anymore is that he brought these rules of logic from another world. He was given all this teaching of, about logic by a goddess. And what is logic? You know, now we look at the laws of logic, the principles. Parmenides didn't really care about because he used logic. This was the first ever use of logic in the West. He used logic to prove oneness. 